Thursday, March 21st, 2024. It's been just over a month since I confronted a paradoxical conflict within myself. My obsession with cleaning, particularly my comprehensive version of zone cleaning, and my desire to embrace a slower, simpler life filled with love for God and others. I realize that in the pursuit of cleanliness, I have unwittingly sacrificed the very simplicity that I long to embody. This internal struggle has been a long journey, one filled with anxiety and frustration, revelations, acceptance, and gradual transformation. As a little girl, I found solace in the meticulousness of cleaning and even more so in zone cleaning later after discovery in my early 20s. It was my sanctuary amidst chaos, a way to exert control in my world that often felt uncontrollable and unsafe. But as I began to delve deeper into my pursuit of this more slow and simple way of life and a more meaningful existence, I began to question the weight of this obsession. Why did I cling so tightly to something that, in reality, was consuming me? <laughs> it was through introspection and a willingness to begrudgingly confront my past yet again that I began to unravel the roots of my cleaning obsession. Childhood trauma of abuse and abandonment and the subsequent turmoil of a temporarily emotionally destructive marriage had planted seeds of fear and anxiety within me leading me to seek some semblance of control in the only way I knew how, through cleanliness and order. However, as I began reading The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry by John Mark Comer and reflecting on Matthew 11, 28-30, I realized that I didn't have to carry this burden alone any longer. Jesus' invitation to find rest in Him resonated deeply within me. His gentle and humble heart offered solace, a refuge from the weight I had been carrying for so long. With this newfound clarity and after much prayer, I began to shift my mindset and make changes to my routines. In January, I replaced my entire cleaning routine, especially zone cleaning, with a basic morning and evening tidy routine where I was able to tidy and lightly clean practically the entire house in less than two hours total a day. 
I train myself using a timer for about the first week or two. On days that I felt especially overwhelmed, I gave myself permission to do only my three bare minimum chores, which are a complete load of laundry, a kitchen cleanup with the focus on dishes, and a sweep of the floors downstairs. By mid-February, I had incrementally added a much slower version of zone cleaning back into this new routine. Thus, I began to loosen the grip on my obsession with zone cleaning, allowing myself to find joy in the process rather than being consumed by it, and I am finding freedom. Cleaning is transforming from an obsessive need for perfectionism to a practice of pure contentedness, a way to care for my surroundings without allowing it to dictate my worth or consume my thoughts. Each day has become an opportunity to learn from Jesus, to embrace his gentle spirit, and to find rest for my weary soul. I just couldn't have come this far without him. Today, I am filled with gratitude for this journey that I've undertaken. Though I'm still trying to work out a few irregularities in my new cleaning routine and defeat a couple of bad habits to be able to permanently quit zone cleaning, I take comfort in knowing that I walk the road ahead with Jesus by my side, his yoke easy and his burden light. May this journey of self-discovery and healing continue to lead me closer to him where true simplicity, rest, 
and fulfillment are found.